Look out! Is peace and quiet too much to ask for? Hey, Ava, you're doing a great job. <sighs> Numbs the pain. I nearly done.
flight school. My name is Jackson, with a J. <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed, and pull back on the stick to take off. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. That was a good start! Well done! Now I'm gonna have you attempt a safe landing on the runway. You won't have Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air, but be careful not to stall the engines. When you touch down, continue to apply the brakes carefully until you come to a complete stop. Try to land as close as you can to the checkpoint marked on the runway. Execute it like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. In this lesson, you're going to be performing a couple of different... All right, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Tones of steel! <laughs> I like it! Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Roll the plane right side up. Great work out there today. I'll teach you some more moves next time. This lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You Take off and head for the checkpoint marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect, now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Level out the plane. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay. Perform a knife edge on the other side.
Level out the plane. I think you could have done a little better out there, but there's always next time. Get 
ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking. You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. Now, roll the plane right side up. That wasn't quite there. Level out and retry the stunt from the beginning. Now, roll the plane right side up. Yeah, that was a little sloppy, but passable. Keep practicing.
with a real emphasis on... Remember, this course is all about speed. And to maximize acceleration, keep the nose of the helicopter tipped. Just bear in mind that you're also losing altitude when the nose is pointed down. Good work so far! Keep her at full speed! That's it! You've got this!
Prescott. Let's try that one again. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. with that. That was pretty close. This lesson will involve skydiving onto a Focus in there. 
one star white. Me dude. too. I'm gonna be still paying off my student loans when I'm like 90. I'm serious. And so uh, gay. Play back to yeah. more See gay. you later I'll if I'm not dead. Davy. How you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when? He starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? Oh. 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 I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in its wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. in the other room.
Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, stop! Put today.
Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there, something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? You remember, I told you I know people, feds, who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. Everything was cool. Problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood then, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now, come on. You better take off. All right, man, I'm with you. I'm with you. 